We've had some run-ins on the Discord this week, okay? We have. Not too happy about this. There's been some slander going on about Guild Wars 2, my beloved. One of the greatest games ever made. One of the most amazing quality of life games. Respecter of your time games. Some of the best combat in any MMO. <laughs> you know, but it got these wow guys chirping in my ear. You know what I mean? They're like, this Who's game's that? garbage. The The combat's too <laughs> floaty. It's not good. And, you know, yeah. I just had enough of it. I'm sick of it, you know? Not- I, I don't get this hate from any other, any other, you know gamers from any other game but wow and i i don't know what it is and i want to i want to get to the bottom of it let me start let me start with who else is a guild wars 2 enjoyer here who who else has partook in the goodness of guild wars 2 and seen what arena net has to offer to this world in mmos something totally unique and different that should be celebrated Careful. not hated upon hey. This isn't loaded at all. This is not a loaded, not loaded. question. Not I'm, very, I'm very objective in this, okay? Yes. Um, Chase, Chase, yes. what about you? I know you've recently picked up the game. Yep. Just yep. Uh, just be your honest first take on Guild Wars 2. What have you liked? What have you not, not liked? I'm, I'm genuinely interested to hear what you think. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I know we were talking in the in the channel, but you know, join join the Discord if you know, link in the bottom. Um, but yeah, it, realistically, like I think Guild Wars, it so far has been very respectful of my time, and that's been a big thing for me going into any MMO. Is how much time do I have to spend? Is it going to be fulfilling in that um you know in that minimal or maximum amount of time that I'm going to spend in it? And is it, you know, as it does it feel like I get something out of it that I can walk away from and be like, oh, yeah, I really experienced something. And I think with Guild Wars and so far as what it's done, that WoW, you know, did for me early on, um, it hasn't since, because I haven't played it since, all, it's been a long time. Um, but it is, you know, it's that sense of discovery. And I think that we, we brought this up and I've brought this up before. It really does tap in. And I finally gave it a fair shake. I know, Tom, we, you and I started playing it, and I didn't give it a fair shake. I played it one night, kind of gave it up, just said, eh, put it on the back burner, play all well, these other... I didn't push you, right? I wasn't like, no, you got to play it. No, not at all, man. It it it, it just made... That's the first time it. he's never done that, by the way. It, it, I've never <laughs> done that, ever. Right. Never, it, ever. It, play what you want. It yeah. piqued my interest. I was like, "Hey, I'm just gonna give this a shot." Gave it a shot. You, you got me. You got me some gear. It looked great. I was like, "Cool. I look cool. That's I. I like that." You know. And then I gave it up. I started playing New World, and I started playing other things that you guys were playing. And then I started playing, you know, single player, um, you know, uh, RPGs, and going back to Monster Hunter at all times. But this last week, week and a half, I gave it a fair shot. And I really dug in deep and I was like, I'm going to give this a chance. And I spent the week kind of just chipping away at it. And it felt great. Like it genuinely feels great. And I think what's what's interesting is I love that you could be wandering the world and everybody's in act, you know, interacting with you. Not just the people in, in involved, not the actual players. The world around you is involved. It's lively. You can listen to people you know, you can listen to NPCs talking to each other, kind of giving away secrets of the lore. You know, you don't have that a lot in WoW. You don't really have that in a lot of MMOs. It's just kind of, they're static. You know, they're static NPCs, really, until you interact with them. So it felt, it feels lively. It feels engaging. And that's what I really liked about it. I was like, oh, yeah, I'm in this game and, and I'm in this world and I'm learning about this world that I have no clue about. I have zero context. Yeah, so, you know, I, I really enjoy, like, exploring the world and kind of engaging with the actual NBCs and, and, you know, honestly, the community, too. I think that's one other aspect that I've really enjoyed is that the community, they're really engaged, too. And it, it feels like, and I think, Tom, we were talking about this, it feels like that um, the underdog story, you know, they, they really, the, act, the community's out there trying to be active with new players because they want to retain the players. And I kind of like that. I'm like, oh, wow, they're actually really helping me. And like, I think I was telling you, there was one thing I was searching for all the, the key points or the, or the waypoints on the map in this one particular area. And I was, you know, I needed two more to complete that area. 
And I just dropped the, you know, dropped the chat. I was like, hey, yeah, guys, where is this? And they're like, oh, yeah, that one's one of the hardest ones to find. It's over in the bottom, you know, southeast corner. I'm like, oh, and they're like, oh, no way. And like 50 other people like, oh, my God, I've been looking for that one for the last like, you know, six months. So, you know, it's just like little bits. Of, and then I brought this up before. It was, it's community. And then I think that was really cool to see. So you've got really neat NPCs who are engaging with each other. You've got an active community that really kind of brings on a, a, a you know new players. And then you've also got really cool like aesthetics. I mean, I'm a sucker for really cool aesthetics. Yes, it's a very hot topic. You know, whether or not you like it, it's 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 almost like a uh, 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 like a mix between like an oil painting and a watercolor painting. Like mm. it's kind of crazy because some of these screenshots I was taking, I was looking at it going like, I would frame that photo, you know? And then on top of it, it's got great combat and it's got great movement. I mean, God, some of the best feeling movement when you're on a when you're on a um a mount, like that inertia when you stop and the tail just kind of whips around, you know, and you feel like you're you're constantly like in this, it just it it feels organic. Um, you know, and then going back to the combat, I've been playing a, as a ranger. And, you know, Scott, I know we were talking and you, you mostly played uh, melee when you when you did play it. And the Ranger is just such a fun. But I've been really enjoying that, too, because it's got some really neat effects and they've got some really neat kind of AOE, uh, uh, you know, attacks. So it's just been fun, man. I and it's like I said, I've, I'm only probably about 30 hours in now. And it's just been a blast. And it's like one of those things. Yeah, it could be the new thing that I burn out real quick. It burns bright and then it burns out. But the fact that it's free too is like in the back of my head. I'm like, man, this game has got all of this and it's free until I decide, oh, hey, I want the expansion. You know, and that to me is the nicety, I think, versus the subscription model. And I get it. Some people love that subscription model because they feel like month to month they're getting their worth. I personally put that in the back of my head and I go, I have to play. I feel obligated to play with a, with a subscription model. So the fact that Guild Wars mm -hmm. 2 doesn't have that makes me feel like I'm going to enjoy this at my own pace, on my own time, you know, single player or with you guys, you know, in some form. And I think that's just, that's really an enjoyable experience. I think And, you, and if you have to put things. it down for a little bit, there's no guilt. Yeah. Right. You know, exactly. Come at, beautiful, Chase. You could, yeah. couldn't have said it better myself. Hey. Coltrane, hey. I want to hear your experience real quick before we throw it over to Tom the Wow and the Wow player, Scotty. And then I have some theories I would like to float after that, after I let right. Scott go. Yeah. Coltrane, what, what's your time been like in Guild Wars? Did you play way back in the day? I know you kind of jumped in recently. What's what's your take on it? Yeah, I played Guild Wars back then. I'm into it now. Guild Wars 2, in my opinion, has some of the best questing system of any MMO out there in that it encourages exploration. There's no, uh, you go to a little quest hub and then you get the little exclamation point, you get a quest. You just wonder. And you come across this bridge and there's this NPC and he's like, help! And then you help him right across the said bridge. Then you get attacked by Knowles, which then starts stage two of another quest, which is then part of some other patrol thing that's another quest. And you find yourself getting wrapped up in the world. I've never felt an MMO where I felt more a part of the world. And it's like, hmm, you know what? I'm just going to head north and see what I can find. And and that's that's the thing. It's exploration, explorative questing. Um, When it comes to the combat here let me just get my root beer float hold on one second mm -hmm. have a little you know it, it reminds me like when you're a kid and you're learning to swim and you're kind of wearing those floaties you know what i mean it's like like or like uh like nasa astronauts you know when they spacewalk you know what i mean they just they just float they're just floating yeah i'm, I'm getting you I, I'm you know checking. it's yeah. i don't know if, yeah, are you picking up what i'm putting down i, I am I'm totally am. Here. yeah so it the, the combat, you know, I can't, I can't think of the word to describe the Guild Wars Two combat. It's, it's not, it's not coming yeah. to me. I dynamic, I think, is what. Yeah. You're oh, dynamic! <laughs> Why? <laughs> yes, that. that, that Crap. Yeah. I got, that, hey, ouch. No GCD. All right. Move. Casters don't have to stop to cast. That is nice. I mean, weapon swapping. It's yeah. It's, it's just, pretty beautiful. Yeah, it is, but it's uh, it's a little it's a little loosey goose. It's a little loose, little loosey goosey. You know, I, I agree. Right. 
I got to tell you, the World of Warcraft. Thank you. Yes, it's actually in, tied it up. You're making me like, What is happening to the? This is not going the way I thought it was going to go. Yeah, okay. go. <laughs> keep going. The MMO is amazing. It's fantastic. <laughs> but the combat, it's just, it's just loose. Uh, it's, it's just terrible. It's, That's what you're trying uh, to say. It's freaking garbage. I it's love, funny. I love some of it. First of all, first of all, I want to extend an olive branch. Okay. Yes. I want to try to meet in the middle here. Guild Wars 2 has a very unique movement system. Even with the players, just like the mounts, there's an amount of inertia to your character. Yeah. Now, they do this a lot because, I believe, of the jumping puzzles. If you jump in midair, you can turn around while you're in midair. You can change direction while you're going. And this kind of affects your combat as well, right? So I can see someone coming from WoW where your movement is totally unhinged. You jump in a direction and you fly in that direction and you don't stop, right? You just glide, it's smooth, you know what I mean? You change direction, it's it's on a dime, it's just you snap and you're moving the other way, right? If, if It does feel really good, just like old flying, you're just moving mm. on the this axis as fast as you could. Now, Guild Wars did something a little different. Like I said, they added this inertia to the combat. And I think this gets mixed up because myself, I prefer the World of Warcraft movement. I like that freedom of movement and going fast. And, you know, in Guild Wars, if you strafe, you, you get slowed down quite a bit. Mm -hmm. But that is different. When I hit someone with my greatsword 2 on my ranger, I mean, I feel it. The sound effect is there. It hits super hard. And it's probably the hardest hitting ability of any ability I've had in an MMO ever. So I just have trouble understanding what people are meaning by floaty. Scott, I want to give you the floor in good faith to explain what you mean. In good faith. Because <laughs> I think... Explain yourself. And I will have my theory after this, but I do. And, and I have prided myself on being... The guy who is, I don't want people to be tribal about MMOs, right? I want people to play what they like yeah. and what they enjoy, and I don't want anyone to force anyone to play what they don't enjoy or a game they don't like. So I get it. Not every, Guild Wars 2 is not for everyone, right? So yeah. with that being said, Scotty, I just I just want to under, help me understand this floatiness that you speak of that I don't seem to notice when I'm playing Guild Wars 2. So, if, fill me in. What what what's going on here? All right. So, there's a lot of layers to how I feel about Guild Wars, and and I'll talk about combat in just a sec. But I I'm gonna try not to be cynical for once in my life. Okay. Right, be cynical. It's by all measures, it is a good game. Okay, we'll just say that. Great game. Yeah. It is. Yeah. I uh, I particularly can't get into the lore. It doesn't pull me in. Um, I don't... I, I, I just... Uh, yeah, the combat we'll talk about. But for whatever reason, it doesn't pull me in. I don't feel like it... When, I, when I've been in the game, it doesn't feel like a true MMO. It doesn't evoke that emotion that an MMO would give. For whatever reason, we could sit here and talk about. But... I do think the primary reason is the combat. Once you're, once you pick a class, once you get into it, uh, if you can't feel that connection between the game and your mouse and your keyboard, when you hit that button, it just loses all connection for me. So let's let's take a WoW ability. There's several of them. There's so many abilities that feel good, and I have never once got that from Guild Wars. It's missing. I don't know what you're talking about. I like the inertia of the game. I do. I think it adds a cool layer to it. But when it comes to actual attacks, I don't know if it's like the bar charging up as you're walking and then it's like this awkward swing and it makes a thunk sound. Like it's not a good player game connection. It's a, if combat was. Yeah, I, I don't even know because I'm not sure what kind of combat it would need because it not being tab target is difficult for me too. 
So there's no connection to it. I don't feel like my attacks have that moxie that they do in other games. And that's really the the crux of it. I just don't I don't feel that tactile connection to it. There's no meat. Scott, I have a, I have a, I have a question. Yeah. Would if they updated the effects, the audio effects, because that's something that I've heard, and I do agree with you on this, and I know in the channel we've been talking about it, the sound yeah. effects. If they added something there to give it more impact, because something yeah. that, you know, New World really prides itself on is its audio. And yes. and it's it's amazing. Like, that's like the one thing that sticks out in my mind. Yes. That impact of any weapon that you pick up whether it's a blunderbuss or a sword. Is that something do you think that New World could, or not New World, um, yep. Guild Wars could do to kind of create that sense of impact? Because it's a sound that's, big part. Yeah, yes, it is. It's you and others have brought I don't the think table. it's the whole thing. It's all of okay. it. Like the, uh, what do they call that? Um, like the collision effects? Mm-hmm. Don't yeah. feel, the hit don't feel right. Yeah, they, they mm-hmm. almost feel like you're swinging through things. Okay. Instead of at them and connecting, it feels like you're just ghosts. Like maybe you could miss them and you'd get the same feeling. Uh, maybe that's why, because not playing, not playing a more uh, melee based character myself, you know, yeah. I'm not feeling those effects as much because I am, you know, secondary. I am doing a, yeah. you know, of sword, but I don't use it as often as as I do as a ranger, as a bow, you know. And I think okay. Scott, Tom, you were saying the same thing. Maybe I'd have to give range a go. To really see, like, well, let let me jump in. I I I get what you're saying, Scott, and I'm I'm tracking with you. I do think audio is huge in games, and it's very it is interesting. You mentioned the like stickiness to a target in a way, which, and to be fair, I think you've played one class right in I Wars. So I played it when it the Guardian came out, and I tried the Guardian and uh, the Thief. And I think I okay. just did the the melee daggers. Gotcha. And recently we kind of jumped in and into dragons, and you played guardian for for a little bit. Um, yeah, just to check out. Yeah. Okay. So I think what Chase is saying, there's a lot of different classes. Like I said, I think the ranger animations and sounds are great, and it could be a class. I don't thing. think the animations were great either. That's the other thing. Mm. They were okay. They looked very old, like old MM. I, I don't know. They just don't look good. Wow, spells look great. New World spells, eh, eh. Okay. But then you I look at some like world. Dragon's Dogma. Like those are yeah. great spells. Like I'm tricking with you some, but I, I, I just don't agree with that. I think I don't think that I've the watched you play the Ranger. I don't like it. Okay, it looks, fair enough. Fair enough. It looks dull. Fair enough. So here's here's what I'll say on behalf of all Guild Wars Two players is that I don't hear any any negative stuff coming out about the game. Unless it's from an ex WoW player, mm-hmm. and I don't think that's a coincidence. Now, when Guild, I think this is a very a much deeper topic. I think when Guild Wars Two came out, it was at the height of World of Warcraft. Mm-hmm. We're talking 2012. Yeah. You still have 12, 10 million subscribers. Mm-hmm. WoW was insanely popular, and Guild Wars Two, I have coined it the anti-MMO MMO. MMO. Hmm. It basically looks at everything the MMO genre does and flips it on its head to an extent. And I feel like a lot of those traditional WoW players jumped into Guild Wars back in the day and were like, I don't know what to make of this game, right? There's no vertical gear progression. There is no hand-holding. There's not a, a road that leads me to the next quest giver. You know, it was almost a di- totally different game than WoW. And I think they jumped in, they're just like, oh, this game is trash. You know what I mean? And I think since the WoW player base then was the biggest player base of any MMO ever, I think that first impression lingers. And I don't think it was a fair first impression. And to be fair, ArenaNet made a lot of mistakes the first year because they're trying to do this new thing where it was a living, breathing world. Events were here one day, gone the next. You couldn't replay them. You know, they, they had to learn a lot along the way. And so, I don't, man, I'm going to... Well, I'm going to wreck Tom's whole presence. Okay, finish your thoughts, sorry. I'm just saying, I don't want... 
I, what I'm trying to say is I don't want to offend with this term, but I think it's a lot of wow elitism that comes <laughs> through when people talk trash about Guild Wars 2. And I was tracking with you until you said the animations look bad. I mean, I just disagree. I think the animations are amazing on almost every class. And so I'm hearing a lot of subjective things from me, which, and I get that, and that's every person's right, right. to have their own subject. But I think when I've, me and you have kind of got into it about Guild Wars, I feel like as an old WoW player or some old WoW players, they make these big sweeping generalization type statements about Guild Wars 2. And that's kind of when I get a bone to pick, you know, because these are subjective uh, things you're talking about as they're objective. Well, I'm going to ruin your premise. Okay, go ahead. When I started playing Guild Wars 2, I was mm -hmm. playing your other favorite game. Okay. So. How does that ruin my premise? Hello Kitty Just Island the... Adventure? No. <laughs> no. Simulator. Um, uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was <laughs> I was playing Star Wars. I hadn't played WoW since 2009. Yeah, but, but I was in the in the midst of Star Wars is WoW with a different skin. I mean, it it's, is. It's the same game. So then, wouldn't you fall victim to my same elitism or no? Because I didn't play WoW. I'm not a WoW elitist. I didn't grow up on WoW. Well, yeah, Scott, you started. You started, started playing. Wow, it was in 2011. Yeah. Star Wars: The Old Republic and Guild yep. Wars came out in 2012. Yep. I had a fresh, open mind about. Mm. I am so enamored with MMOs right now. I want to see what every MMO is and what they're doing. Yeah. I had no, I have no baggage from World of Warcraft mm -hmm. tied to me. You know of how it yeah. should be or how combat should be played mm -hmm. or anything. This is just my take. I could be way off. Right. This I think I point. think it's what definitely a valid part of grape. It's a great yeah. point. And is it's that, okay if you don't like got, combat. I get it. I don't want to say that you have to love it. You know, I just That's why I said do. by all accounts, it's a good game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think if it if it's combat really spoke to me, I'd mm -hmm. probably be hooked. I think it is missing on a lot of those critical elements of MMOs that I complain about a lot, like community and not having, I, you know what I mean? In-game community, Ooh. not the, all right. You know what? Ooh, Scotty, I don't know about that I wanna, one. Man. I want to give you a little sneak peek, a little sneak feel, peek to the viewers. We have a survey that's going out about <laughs> what would your perfect MMO look like? And from mm. all, all these different questions. And I got to say, when I look at this survey, the top answers remind me a lot of Guild Wars 2. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. Mm -hmm. That's all I'm going to say. I, I, I will. I, I, let me jump in here real quick and just say that I think that I find Guild Wars 2 to be an absolutely incredible MMO. My only issue with it a little bit is the combat is that it feels like you're on ice skates for me. Mm -hmm. It feels like you're kind of skating around. Um, and I don't think it's an action combat thing because I it doesn't feel tight. A uh, New World to me, action combat, dodge roll. It feels tight. I don't know what it is. I swing that axe. I feel like I'm connecting Black Desert Online. Same deal. Even Lost Ark. You know, it's mm -hmm. a top-down view. For some reason, with Guild Wars 2, it feels ice skatey. feels floaty a little bit. My only issue, believe it or not, with Guild Wars 2, and by the way, here's a quick thing. It's melee. You guys brought this up. When I played Ranger, I had a Ranger. I got up to like level 40 or something. It felt great. Range class in Guild Wars 2, phenomenal. Awesome. Melee. Yeah. Melee, to me, is where it felt floaty. I was kind of mm -hmm. flying around. It okay. felt it felt ice skating. It was more, I felt it way more in the melee combat than ranged. But I will say, mm -hmm. go ahead, go ahead, Tom. You want to jump in? I, I, I want to mention one thing, and there, I don't know when it was added, but there is now a feature or an option that you can click in the settings mm -hmm. that will make you stay in front of your target. Whatever. Mm -hmm. It won't let you skate through like you're saying. Oh, okay. So maybe that was something that was added later that is nice. would be worth a try. Whatever you're tapped Thanks. onto, it Weird. won't let you swing through with your action abilities. I don't know. It's a small thing. It probably won't sure. make much of a difference, but maybe it's worth a try. I'll absolutely give it a shot. When I tried playing Rogue in Guild Wars 2, I got him like level 39, like mm -hmm. a thief. I didn't like it because it just it felt still that kind of floaty. It didn't feel mm -hmm. as sticky. It didn't feel that yeah. grip. World of Warcraft, I think part of the reason for its success after, what, 18, 19 years, and by the way, props mm -hmm. to Blizzard, 
the fact that World of Warcraft is still in the conversation after this long, yeah, it's insane. It's and I the think top dog still. Yeah. Outrageous. Yeah. And and I think part of the reason is that combat. People talk about Final Fantasy 14. I love Final Fantasy 14, except the combat. Yeah, the feels combat a little garbage. Yeah, I wouldn't I don't say like garbage, it. but it just feels a little it's loose. not garbage, but it's yeah, it's same a little with loose. New World. I don't love the New World combat. I know mm-hmm. a lot of people do. Yeah. But, and so I can fall victim to the same thing. I'm not saying I'm above it. It's yeah. very repetitive. Yes. See, I loved it, and then yeah, to Scott, I it got repetitive. It did. It got repetitive, and and then I went back to tab targeting style, and I love tab targeting. But I also learned that in Guild Wars, you have the option to do boss look, which is amazing. So it brings both of that action and tab targeting elements together. Even though you're essentially tab targeting, you get that option to look around and kind of you know naturally move around because you yeah. know it's just thir- then it feels like a third person. Uh, either platformer or third person, you know, shooter type game. Um, but yeah, I think I, I agree in, in a lot of ways, uh, Tom, and I know this is going to hurt you y- hearing this too, but I do agree on with the melee stuff. I think melee does have some tweaking that it needs to do because even if I'm using my sword, I'm going, it is, you're going through the people versus playing, wow, you literally feel that, you know, that, Thunk, mm. and you see that thunk yeah. and it like stops you and there's some like kickback to the sword getting impacted but when it comes to rangers or, or mage or whatever have you it, like there's real it feels it's so good it, it feels does. so good i mean and think I, of how good hammer of justice feels cold train mm-hmm. like right. that's such a fun it, you feel it like all the paladin abilities absolutely they're so oh, yeah. needy right Shield block shield of the righteous yeah. you know yeah. hammer it feels amazing yeah old and i slide around yeah you know what I think it is? I think it's Guild Wars 3 is yeah. going to be the ultimate MMO. If you on the video. I'm and telling you, if you update, Guild Wars 3. Yes, if you update the graphics, right? Update the graphics, Unreal Engine 5 or whatever the new thing, you you make the combat feel tighter. Yeah. 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 The, but the systems in Guild Wars 2, the foundation is some of the yep. best. And I'm a WoW fanboy. But yep. but this it just the questing and by the way, I would just say with the community, all these events in the human starter zone, every time I've re-rolled and started a new human, there's always somebody out there, some guild that pl- plants down these like banners that offer these buffs for everybody. And everyone seems so like inviting and like, welcome, we represent this guild. Like I, I, I felt that sense of community uh, in the game. Mm-hmm. So the systems, the the horizontal progression as well, Yeah, all gear remains relevant. The mm-hmm. the explorative questing is unbelievable. I think Guild Wars Three, man. If if this game, the tighter combat with updated graphics, I think it would just mm. blow everything. It would just be incredible. I, I really Fingers crossed. And I want to say I love WoW Combat too. Like I'm yeah, a huge it's the WoW best. Fan. It's it's the best of any MO out there. I think for tap it's, target. It's great. It's yeah, great. Yeah. It it absolutely is. They've been the leader. There's a reason why Scott said they're still going strong. Oh yeah. So it is amazing and. Look, I think MMOs need to learn from each other. They need to, you know, I think Ashes of Creation is doing a hybrid system. I think okay. they've seen Guild Wars. I think they've seen WoW. I think they're trying to find the best way to move forward. I don't know what Dune is going to do yet or the Riot MMO. It, Like I said, if you don't have much time to play, if your dad, it, you know, if you work all the time, Guild Wars respects your time. There's always something to do. The community is there. You know, there's a lot of good stuff there. If you want to play, jump in the Discord. If you want to play WoW, we got guys in Season of Discovery. We got people playing retail. I mean, all kind of stuff. We'd love to see you guys in there. So, uh, 